Hello there, I'm Ronnie James Dio. And I'm Geezer Butler. And we're from Black, Black Sabbath. Sabbath. Ronnie James Dio and Geezer Butler are two of the closest members in the history of Black Sabbath, recording four classic albums along with Tommy Iommi, always the cut-ups. The two are a duo straight out of classic comedy. Here are the funniest moments of the two. Did you guys keep in touch much in the in the years? I know that uh, I understand that some of you just actually saw each other for the first time just a day or two ago, right? It's every twelve years. <laughs> it really is. I kept in touch with Tony. <laughs> Barely, I might add. <laughs> and Ronnie's cat. <laughs> Cats. We're back, and we just want to say one thing to you, and that is that I think you had. Uh, Tony and Vinny on for the Monday segment of this, and they said that we had chosen the Right Said Fred and a few other videos, but <laughs> we want to make sure that we let you know those were their choices, and they kind of shoved it off to us. We're the heavy guys in this particular thing. So we want to introduce uh, three clips for you now. <laughs> I spent most of that, that early part of it when we were doing live shows looking at this. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Because, as Tony said, the fan base was so strong, and you know, the affinity of the, those fans to Ozzy at that time was very, very strong. What do we got next? We got something else after that, I think. So we roll that. It's probably, I think it's Motorhead. What song was that going to be? Is it? Yeah, it is. I can see the little thing right in there. Oh, right? it's Motorhead with... Ace of Spades. Yes, but who knows what the third one might be because uh, no one's going to tell us about that one. We're not really sure. So I guess it might be Ozzy Osbourne. Yes, it could be. And it is. It's Ozzy Osbourne with Crazy Train. There you go. And eventually, you know, the, the fing that finger came down and I put one more up there and <laughs> guess what happened? <laughs> now Britney Spears does that too. <laughs> Was that when you first started doing that? I started. I'd done that in Rainbow a few times, right. but uh, mainly in in Sabbath. Uh, and one of the reasons being that you know Ozzy was much more famous for you know the the, the peace sign. Of course, right. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be copying what someone else did, if I could help it. So uh, you know my my Italian roots came out, and you know I whipped up the old Maloik, and there it was. And having used it so many times, you know I'm given. I've been given credit for inventing it, um, and been inventing the hand and the arm that goes with it, you know, all of which is completely and totally untrue. It's when you do something enough times, I think you just get, uh, you, you get given credit for it. And I did it enough times so that it, uh, you know, once well, I again, I used to do it, it but I didn't get any credit for it. <laughs> We're back. And of course we want to say uh, party on, geese. Party on, Ronald. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> way. Yes, way. Only 1999. You got it. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Let's see the end of Thursday for uh, myself and uh, my compatriot, uh, Mr. Butler. And do you have yes, anything Wayne. you'd like to say, my friend? Boa noite. Ah, oh, my lord, he knows how to say good night in Portuguese. I wouldn't repeat it because you're just too good for me. <laughs> the duo and their wives would form a strong bond as well. After the split between Black Sabbath and Dio, it was Geezer and his wife missing Dio and his wife's friendship that would spark their dehumanizer reunion. Dio was overall a very likable person who made close friends with many musicians. Uh, which one of you is uh, the most uh, gentleman? I think I'm the biggest gentleman out of the three. <laughs> because, think so? because I'm so small that I have to be a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> well, they beat, you. beat me up. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think, you know, there's a great example of, uh, you know, we, sh we shouldn't try not to, to take Geezer's contribution, although his contribution is a writer too, but his other contribution I think was very evident on the Heaven and Hell album that we did. Geez wasn't there when we first went to Florida or anything. We actually put a backing track down um, and someone else played bass on it. And then, thank God, Geez came back. And suddenly, what this song nice? came, became what Heaven and Hell is, thanks to Geezer. And that's what he does, you know. He, his stamp as a player 
and the thoughtfulness that he puts into it before he even commits to it is very, very, very important. So, I mean, I think I needed to say that because it's easy for Tony and I to talk, well, we said, oh, we wrote this and we're wonderful and, you know, but Keyes gets so little acclaim for being, you know, A, as great as he is as a player, and B, as thoughtful as he is as a person about the things that he wants to put in there. And so that's what this is. Tony and I can, we sit around and we write things that work for Tony and work for me, and there's the basis of the song, and then we give it to Geese, and suddenly it yeah. becomes this other animal, and that's just so, so important, I think. And while Dia was battling stomach cancer, Geezer and his wife would visit often, being the best of friends until his death on May the 16th of 2010, having been reunited since 2007 for a third time under the Heaven and Hell band.